So, so far today, we've heard from the president in the White House. We've heard, of course, from Hillary Clinton and from Donald Trump. And let's try and make sense of those messages. Results came in overnight. There was, of course, a massive information about not just the presidential race, but also the crucial race for seats in Congress. And uh, that'll have a big impact on the next four years as well, because it led to a big victory for the Republicans in both houses of Congress. Uh, Jeremy Vine was uh, tracking all the results as they came in. How did Donald Trump build his support? Was he divisive or did he do this by actually building coalitions? Let's look at some of the figures that came out from this election. So, for example, among men and women, clearly he was more popular among male voters than Hillary Clinton. But by the same margin, she was more popular than him among their female counterparts, 54 to 42 percent. What about age? If you look at younger voters here, Hillary Clinton, much more popular than Donald Trump. But he was more popular than her among voters aged over 45. Some of these differences are really stark. Nowhere more stark than on race. Trump more popular among whites by 58 to 37 percent. But a massive margin for Hillary Clinton among black voters. Trump only had 8 percent. Mind you, didn't stop him winning the election. With Hispanic voters, yes, Clinton had a lead, but Trump still managed, despite all the controversy, to get 29% of them voting for him on the night. So now we look at the chronology, and I'll take you to our virtual Washington monument so we can see the story of the night as it unfolded. And it began with very much a sense that it was probably going to be Hillary Clinton's time. Have a look at the first results we saw. This is 2 o'clock in the morning. And you can see these states coming in, predictably blue for the Democrats, states like Illinois, and then on the red side, Kansas, Alabama, Tennessee. No surprises so far. Each of them has a number, their so-called number of electoral college votes, and I'll take them and pile them up beside the virtual Washington Monument. And when the winner gets to 270, the contest is over. So far, early days, no surprises. Move on an hour and a half, though, and something shocked us all. New Mexico and Connecticut going blue as everyone expected them to, but it was Ohio that caused the shock. That had been reliably Democrat for quite some time. Now it was in the red column. The Republicans didn't win it in the 2012 election. Was something happening? Was Donald Trump on the move here? Was his strategy working? Let's pile up those electoral college votes. And now you can see his advantage. Not long after, about an hour later, Mrs. Clinton struck back with California, 55 electoral college votes, the biggest state. But then Donald Trump pulled his own surprise, winning Florida, crucial, pivotal Florida, with 29 electoral college votes. His strategy was clearly working, even in states with burgeoning numbers of ethnic minority voters. We add those votes into the system. Now he's getting very close to 270. What came next? Well, for Mrs. Clinton, it was just predictable fair. Stuff they won. States they won under Barack Obama last time and the time before. But look at the red state, Pennsylvania, with 20 electoral college votes. Another huge surprise and a huge boost for Trump. Did it give him victory? Not quite. He's just a whisker away. He's actually just Wisconsin away. That came in at 8.04 while he was speaking. Somebody whispered in his ear, you're through the line. Wisconsin, with 10 electoral college votes. Let's just see them added here. And at that point, Donald Trump knew he would be in the White House. In the end, Trump won not by building a big tent or reaching out to the center ground, but by turbocharging his core vote, chief among them older white men. It has given him a famous victory, and it puts him into that building as the 45th American president. Well, that was Jeremy Vine with uh, his assessment there of the results as they came in in waves overnight.